Hey folks, what's here? Welcome back to another, um, almost said Polar Masters video, but it's not actually a Polar Masters video, but, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just used to it, right? Uh, but a video where I go ahead and, you know, since Sabrina's banner is up and all that, and I'm probably the biggest Sabrina fan you guys all know. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and rank every single Sabrina that's ever appeared in the Pokemon series, at least that I know of. And, uh, upon my personal preference, again, completely subjective. If it's different from what you guys like, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's okay, we can, you know, it's it's fine. <laughs> so, anyways, um, these are all the Sabrinas that I know of. Um, if there's any more that's not on this list, please let me know. I would love to know who they are. <laughs> so, um, just going over them, that's the original design for Sabrina, at least that's for, you know, artwork. Uh, that's gold and silver for Sabrina. This is, for those of you who don't know, it's from the manga uh, Electric Tail, uh, the Electric Tail of Pikachu, which, if I could find it here on Bulbapita, which, uh, there we go, yeah, Electric Tail of Pikachu manga. Yes, that is Sabrina. Yes, she does kind of have Erica vibes. <laughs> But yeah, um, it's from a manga, so if you guys haven't read it before, it's okay. I, I, I didn't read too much of it, honestly, um, either. Uh, this Sabrina is also from a manga, which I personally like a lot. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty funny manga. It, you know, it's, 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 it's a, it, it's, it's a comedic one, right? Um, Pop Kit Monsters manga. I guess that's how you officially call it in English, I guess. Um, this is Pokemon Stadium Sabrina. This is, I think everyone knows which this one is. That's the anime Sabrina. This is uh, Fire Red Leaf Green Sabrina. This is Pokemon Origin Sabrina. This is our own Pokemon Master Sabrina. This is from TCG. Um, there's a lot of cards for Sabrina. I just picked, I guess, the most representative one. We're just gonna yeah, use this to represent all the TCG Sabrinas. Um, this is HeartGold Soul Silver Sabrina. That's her playing a role in black and white 2 I think it's again I haven't played gen 5 games which I will again everyone wants me to play it so I will play it I'll stream it on the channel as soon as I'm done with mystery dungeon <laughs> I'll play black and white okay I'll find I'll do it <laughs> um, you guys have convinced me all right and uh, this is team rocket version of Serena in the uh, Pokemon adventures a serious manga right which people adore <laughs> Um, this is the Let's Go Sabrina, which we just finished beating, um, I guess seven hours ago, I don't know, we just did like a ten hour long stream of Let's Go. Initially, I was just gonna go there and take out, uh, uh, um, Koga and then Sabrina, but folks wanted me <laughs> to stay longer, and what do you know, we beat the whole game, and then the stream was like ten hours, but okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, moving on, uh, the next one is, I think, the from the Zensho manga. Um, I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah, Zensho manga, um, as well. And then, last one here is the OG Sabrina sprite with a whip, which is slightly out of the frame. But anyways, let's, uh, let's go over them then. So, uh, first and foremost, honestly, they're all Sabrinas, they're great. So, they should all be in, like, S, like, quadruple plus tier. But if I had to, you know, sort out my preferences, we'll do that then. So, uh, let's start from, I'm going to start from the lowest tier, which is S tier. <laughs> We're still really, really good, right? Um, so, first one I'm going to put in S tier is uh, probably the Electric Tail of Pikachu manga, because like she's honestly kind of barely recognizable. Um, so, for those of you who don't know about the Electric Tail of Pikachu version of, of Sabrina, She's actually not like she's like she she's really hard. It, it's she's she, uh, sure she's still like Sabrina, but she's extremely different from any other portrayal of Sabrina like ever in in the whole series, right? Um, she had a really interesting story. Honestly, I'm not gonna spoil it. So you guys, I mean, it's over here, but like you guys don't have to read it, right? Um, don't want to get spoiled. Uh, but it's, she had a really pretty sympathetic story, right? It was pretty interesting. Apparently, this manga is like also slightly kind of dark. Again, I didn't finish the whole thing. I just read a few chapters. Honestly, I just read the Sabrina chapter. Uh, but 
it, it, it's, it's pretty interesting. You guys could go check it out. Um, but the only reason, I mean, I actually did enjoy the story a bit. Um, but the only reason I ranked her down here is just because she's, it's just hard to, it's, she's just not as recognizable, um, unfortunately, uh, as a Sabrina, so that's why she's down there. Um, moving on to, uh, the next one we're going to also, unfortunately, uh, put in this here is this Sabrina. I loved the Pocket Monsters manga. It's, honestly, I like it more than Adventures. <laughs> Which is crazy, right? Because it's adventures, right? Um, it's the most, it, it's, you know, it's the most iconic, um, manga for Pokemon. But, this manga was, like, absolutely hilarious, <laughs> and I loved it. Um, but unfortunately, again, with, uh, the same thing with, uh, the Electric Tail Pikachu manga, her character is, like, completely different. Um, I'll, 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 I'll Although, to be fair, in the Pocket Monsters manga, like, she still kind of follows her general characters, but, like, the whole manga is just so outrageous. It's just so, like, you know, going out of their way to be, like, comedic about, like, almost everything that, like, it's 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 hard. Like, because, you know, Sabrina is generally quite, you know, she doesn't talk much. She's doesn't seem like she's that, you know she's that great at socializing she probably doesn't want to talk with you at all nor would she really care um <laughs> she's she's more of a loner right um uh, uh, unfortunately but or actually fortunately let's get which is what makes her cool um she's not one to crack jokes that much and in the sync bear story in poem masters uh you know oh not the sync bear story but you know in the main chapter story for poem masters like it was even it was hard to get her to even smile right at like Alyssa's stupid puns um and this just you know that's just not what Sabrina is generally um uh made out to be right their character so that's why I put the pocket monsters um version of Sabrina down here as well even though again I love this chapter um I love the manga uh, the pocket monsters manga it was great but unfortunately <laughs> Not my favorite Sabrina, to say at least. Moving on. Um, almost like a pattern. <laughs> Next one I'm going to put down here is um, the Zencho Mangas Sabrina. This one also, uh, you could kind of see a pattern. Like The manga's portrayals of Sabrina are just different from the main line portrayal of, of Sabrina, which is fine, you know, she could be different, obviously. You know, you could have different interpretations. Um, but she's just, I don't know. Like, I actually like her design here um, in general. But again, like with all the others, and I didn't read too much of, of, of Zen Show, right? So I, I don't know the broader context as much, which could be one of the reasons why I rank her slightly lower. I don't, you know, the in comparison to like all the other stuff, I don't know as much context here. Um, but... Again, she's just much, much different um, here. And, yeah. <laughs> so, moving on uh, to the S-plus tier, which is very, very good tier. <laughs> um, let's move some pieces down. So, first of all, Pokemon Stadium Sabrina. Um, her fight was fun, right? Uh, Pokemon, I think this is like, I'm just lumping Stadium 1 and Stadium 2 into the same uh, category, right? So, Pokemon Stadium Sabrina, oops, not down here, down here. She had some pretty in interesting Pokemon on her team, but, like, some of them honestly don't really fit. Like, Wigglytuff, like, in nowadays would be, would be, like, slightly more fitting just because, like, she, Wigglytuff's now fairy type, right, which does have some crossovers with psychic types, but like Snorlax, Ferret. I mean, it's cool seeing, I mean, you know, again, in, 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 you know, Stadium, they do use different Pokemon that, you know, are, aren't their type, but it's just kind of weird <laughs> seeing Sabrina with, like, using a Typhlosion. She's like, she's like the psychic girl. <laughs> and obviously, sure, she's allowed to use other type types of Pokemon, but it's just kind of weird, right? And also, 
um her like green clothes is i'm not used to that either <laughs> anyways uh moving on um what i'd also uh probably put uh down in this tier is maybe i would say the gold and silver version of sabrina um i think crystal is also this right uh but the gold and silver maybe crystal i have to fact check myself here um yeah gold silver and crystal sabrina she's okay um her team is she's still out of stable right alexam um it's just that you know she didn't play as much of a role as she did in like any of the other games or just you know her role is like minor she's she's one of the gym leaders that you can challenge after you beat the uh the lead for her, um right and you go over to kanto her team is really her team's pretty tough right um in comparison um but like it's barely much tougher like because like the whole point and sabrina kind of got shafted honestly um in 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 gold silver and crystal like the whole point of like uh battling like the kanto gym leaders was like oh you go back to kanto and like it's like oh they got all much stronger and like sabrina's like one of the first ones you fight and her team is just like barely even stronger than uh her team was like uh, originally um well i wouldn't say barely stronger but uh you know barely much different from what you just faced and i just feel like she kind of got shafted here uh, moving on, um, let's see, who else, uh, would be in the S plus tier, S plus tier, um, I think I'm going to put, um, the original Sabrina down here, uh, from blue, green, and red, that was a really weird order of saying those three games, red, blue, and green, red, green, blue, in no universe, would blue be said first? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. That's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, um, she's OG Sabrina, I, and and you know, again, I did I did differentiate these in terms of her um her actual artwork versus her sprite. Um, I would probably put her sprite slightly above that because her sprite is just incredibly iconic, right? And yeah, she's the first one, but. Uh, her demeanor is just much different from um, your other like she's like uh, like again I like that she's like super serious and all that maybe a bit too much here maybe a bit too much <laughs> maybe a bit too much um, so anyways uh, moving on to S double plus tier which is very 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 good um, we have the original Sabrina with Sprite uh, the, the original um, Gen 1 Sabrina uh, sprite uh, version instead of artwork version. reason why I split these two, even though they have the same team, they're literally the same person, uh, is just the whip thing is kind of iconic and it's pretty cool. Well, not, I wouldn't, I'm not, I, okay, I'm not praising or endorsing whipping Pokemon or whatever, but it was a pretty interesting lore, right? Um, people talk about it a lot, right? Um, as for her team, it's one of the more, you know, um, iconic teams for Sabrina, right? This is uh, the version in red and blue where she had Venomoth. And fun fact, um, in all games that Sabrina has Venomoth, uh, Koga does not have. In all games that Koga has Venomoth, Sabrina doesn't have. So there's like a theory that Sabrina and Koga shares like the same Venomoth, which I totally subscribe to. <laughs> that's, that's, if that's actually true, that's, that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, OG Sabrina, really, really cool. Same for yellow, except, like, she's, like, slightly more yellowy. Um, this team is pretty awesome as well. Like, three of, like, the Alexam line. How awesome is that? <laughs> Alright. Uh, moving on. In this year, I would also put, um, the Pokemon Origin Sabrina. Um, reason she's up here is, I kind of like her design. Um... But the reason why she isn't lower, uh, well, well the, the reason why she isn't lower is because I like her design, but the reason why she isn't much higher is she got, like, one scene and, like, one line talking about, like, Red beating her, which she just doesn't do much, honestly, un unfortunately. Uh, but she looks cool, so there's that. Um, moving on, um, I'm also going to put TCG Sabrina in here. 
there's a lot of really great TCG um, Sabrina cards. Uh, I do like all of them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I, like the TCG artwork is so underappreciated. I love... I love the a lot of the uh, Pokemon uh, TCG artwork. She had her own um, gym deck, right? Which was I wanted to buy so much when I was a kid, which unfortunately, I, you know, my parents didn't get me one, which is slightly sad. Uh, but it's okay. I, I I got uh I got quite a few Sabrina cards from Booster Pack anyway, so didn't need that. <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, like like the Master Ball artwork is like whoa, right? Um. The one with Misty, like she looks so, she's just like super cool in, in the um, uh, in the TCG uh, artwork. She got and she got you know a lot of um good good uh Pokemon here as well. Uh, I rem I do have Sabrina's Alexam. It's one of my favorite cards, although I don't know where it is at now because my parents got kind of sort of got rid of them, which is also kind of sad. Uh. But that's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, let me just open up that Alexam art. It's so cool. Alexam is great. Um, so there we go. Uh, moving on. Um, I think I'm also going to put uh, the Team Rocket version of Sabrina slash Pokemon Adventure Sabrina. And I know a lot of people like this one. I like it a lot too. Um, the only like slight drawback for me is like she's a bit immature. And her being part of a villain organization, although really cool, a really cool concept that gym leaders are part of Team Rocket. I, I mean, I always saw like Sabrina as a like neutral player in the whole Saffron uh, Saffron City takeover, M more so Silphco than Saffron City, but you know Saffron City basically got take taken over um, by Team Rocket, and it always seemed like Sabrina didn't really care. And that's also why she's kind of awesome because she doesn't really care about like all y'all's whatever, right? Um, but in the manga, she's part of Team Rocket, which again has its appeals, uh, but it just doesn't fit her character that much. And also, slightly immature. <laughs> um, obviously, she evolves through the uh, through the story, right? Um, which is pretty cool, and that's why she's all the way up here, right? Um, but uh, if you were expecting me to put it slightly higher because again i know a lot of people like this one and i do like this one as well uh but you know those are i guess my reasons for not ranking her higher um moving on uh let's see oh yes the anime sabrina um trying to think of words to say to so i don't upset people because i know a lot of people like the anime sabrina um where is it these are all quotes. Uh, but anyways, the anime Sabrina is, is great. Um, no, I think I missed it. She's really... This is honestly one of my most memorable episodes. Not only because of the fact that she was... You know, she's Sabrina, obviously. Um, but, like... The whole thing... Like, it was super creepy. And the whole Haunter thing was pretty cool. Um, how, you know... Uh, how, how how Ash gave her a haunter, right? And apparently the haunter brought her happiness, which is pretty nice. Um, and Sabrina almost, like, probably killed the protagonist, which is also kind of cool. <laughs> I know I don't want Ash to die, but, you know, getting destroyed like that was pretty cool. Um, but it was also slightly weird. Like, the whole kid thing, the parents thing. Slightly weird, slightly weird, maybe too creepy for my liking. Again, creepy Sabrina, I'm fine with that. That may might have overdone it a bit, and also not the biggest fan of her hair here. Even though that is one of the colors that Sabrina does have, this is probably like my least favorite color of her hair. Um, so there's that as well. <laughs> Moving on. Um, uh, next one I'm gonna put here is Belba. Um, again, I didn't play the Gen 5 games. I only knew a bit about her. Um, and first of all, she looks awesome. It's also kind of hilarious that she'd, like, she'd accept this, you know, request to do this, like, acting thing. 
in like the Pokestar Studios. Um, these Pokemon things slash not Pokemon things. What, again, I don't know the context. I haven't played it. Look really fun. Again, she looks awesome. And that's about it. <laughs> uh, her, I mean, this team is whatever. Again, I don't know the context. Uh, but yeah, she's cool. Um, anyways, moving on to S triple plus here, which is very, 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 very good. Um, first one we're going to put in here is the Let's Go Sabrina. The Let's Go Sabrina is actually really, really interesting. I just beat her yesterday, or I guess, yeah, 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 yesterday, right? I think it was, that was before midnight. <laughs> um, her team, first of all, it's really cool that you could, like, rematch her, like, every day. That's great. And... Her team here is, I guess, one of the funner ones to battle, right? Um, this is, I, I honestly, I think I prefer her with Jinx over, actually, I don't know. Both Jinx and Venomoth are, um, I don't know. I, okay, let's not talk about that point. Um, Jinx and Venomoth are both cool, even though Venomoth is not a you know, psych type. But um, here's a few things that I do like about uh, Sabrina's design. Um, and, and let's go, even though, like, I'm not, like, I don't think, obviously, it's not my favorite one because, well, she's not as plus, 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 right? Um, but there are some pretty interesting parts about her design. Uh, first of all, her outfit is kind of like an homage to, like, the earlier versions of Sabrina, um, like her uh, stadium design, her more earlier designs uh she has both the the red um i guess dress skirt on it again i'm not good with clothing parts names um she got all that stuff and then on the back um she also has like the turquoise uh colored stuff as well so it's like two colors in the front it's it's the red pinkish whatever right and then the black uh, the back side is the greenish turquoise turquoise but that, that words um color which again is what she um kind of wore in stadium so that was a pretty pretty interesting and cool homage that that i noticed and also her shoes as well same color right so that was pretty cool um her hair is like way too long <laughs> um which is kind of like not slightly out of character but uh in comparison to, like to like her her hair is generally long but like not like that long <laughs> so uh there we go also her poses are super cool and let's go so that's another plus as well um moving on um next one heart gold soul server sabrina i know a lot of people love her heart gold soul server design it's it's i think probably the most popular design for her um, people keep on telling me how much they like the Harkle Souls of Design, and I like it as well. Um, it's great. And her team is really, really fun to fight. Um, I guess I, I'll just say it's Gen 4 Design, because she also appears in, in, apparently, Black and White. What is her team in Black and White? Um, oh, she got Mewtwo? Oh, boy. That's beautiful. Mewtwo's my favorite Psychic type Pokemon. Psychic is my favorite type. Sabrina's my favorite, favorite character. Wow, this is great. Okay, okay, I definitely need to play Black and White now. <laughs> I definitely need to play the Gen 5 games. Oh, boy. If not just about Sabrina in, what is this, Pokemon World Tournament. Um, Metagross, oh my god. Espeon, I mean, she has, she has yes, Espeon in, in Gen 2. right? But uh, it, mainly her her heart, gold, and soul, silver um, version of, of her team. Um, again, it's the same team. But the rematch, you also get Gallade, which is awesome. Wobbuffet. These are really, really um interesting. Uh, uh, I I never thought she would get Gallade, um, but it was pretty it was pretty awesome <laughs> when I when I saw her uh, use Gallade because like you know most psychic types are you know special attackers, and getting a physical attacker, a uh, physical psychic type user is actually. I did not. I I just didn't expect them to give Sabrina Glade of all the psychic type Pokemon. I just didn't expect it, and that was pretty cool. Um, and again, her design, her hair is great. The the psychic thing, the 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 the, the psychic thing on, on on her um wrist is pretty cool. Although it does 
sort of kind of sort of reminds me of like the manga version of Sabrina. It might like be related. I don't know um, how she got like frost a uh, bit on, on her wrist. It could be I don't, it might be, you know, it might be a reference there. I don't actually know. But if it is, that's pretty awesome as well. Um, and uh, moving on, last one, Pokemon Masters version. And as you can see, <laughs> Fire Red Leaf Green version is up there, right? Um, the Pokemon Masters version, mm, they did give her much more character. A lot of, you know, she got her own sync pair story. She got a lot of lines. Uh, when you talk to her in, in the Pokemon Center, right? She In the Pokemon Center, she does actually elaborate on on you know her fighting the, the 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 fighting type dojo right apparently she actually had some trouble fighting it i always thought like in my mind um how she beat the 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 fighting type gym was like an, just an absolute like domination like just, like just she would just absolutely obliterate the fighting type gym because well she's psychic uh but apparently not apparently it's actually quite difficult according to poem masters so that was i guess not good to know because in my mind, how it went down was probably better, but it you know it, it's interesting to see that. And um, plus, she smiled, and she's part of um, Fantina and sings to Alyssa's team, which is awesome. I love you know Alyssa. Fantina's okay, I guess. I'm not a you know huge Fantina fan. Um, Alyssa's great. Um, they're on the same team. That's like two of my favorite characters in Pokemon. That's like, that's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. And plus, she's super, super strong in, in Pokemon Masters at the moment, right? She's one of the, you know, best. She's, she's like, abs she's an absolute cheat code for Battle Villa. Um, I feel dirty even using it. <laughs> it's just so good. It's like Potion Masters Pikachu, but, like, with special attack buffs. <laughs> and, like, a bunch of other stuff. Um, so, Masters Sabrina is great. And my favorite, as you can see, Fire Red Leaf Green version. This is just... Um, I, it could be nostalgia, I guess, maybe, um, but I absolutely love it, but I just can't find it, <laughs> where is it, oh, there we go, a Fire Red Leaf Green version, um, what can I say, <laughs> like, this, when I think of Sabrina, this is what I think of, right, um, and the games doesn't have much character development, and, Honestly, no other character fits, like, minimal character as Sabrina. Like, she, she's perfect. Like, and, and that's the general problem with gym leaders is that, and that's why I love Pokemon Masters so much, right? Because Pokemon Masters gives a lot of these characters more more to show, right? They, you know, they expand upon a lot of the, like, before this, I did, before Pokemon Masters, I didn't know um cynthia was honestly kind of messy right um before masters i didn't i didn't know um claire was as such an extreme uh tsundere right so yeah um they really i mean like okay champions like cynthia like sure they you get a lot more context in the games since most of them are uh, are generally an integral part of the story except for diantha <laughs> Um, I mean, she appeared like twice. Okay, give her some credit. Um, but yeah, but gem leaders, a lot of them extremely, extremely iconic characters. All they get is just one line before you battle them, one line after you beat them, and then they give you a TM and they talk about the TM. That's for most of gem leaders. Um, apparently some black and white gem leaders have you know sometimes more. Yeah, you know some some gem leaders have have slightly more um you know character than a uh, character development and and stuff than. All the other um, gym leaders like uh, Wallace, right? Um, what else? Uh, Giovanni, sure, right? Um, but most of them, you just don't talk too much uh, at all. They don't talk too much at all. And there's really nothing about them. And like gym leaders are awesome. It's just sad that in the main games, they just, a lot of them just don't, you just fight them once. Though, you know, unless they have a rematch, which is cool. Um, but, and they don't say much. And that's it. And that, again, that's why I like Pokemon But, 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 Sabrina fits the main game very well. She doesn't need to speak much. She doesn't seem like someone who speaks a lot, right? Um, she, she I mean, like, she can communicate with telepathy. Like, why would she need to speak if she could, like, communicate with telepathy, right? And, uh, 
it really minimizes a, a lot of her um a, a lot of the downsides to gym leaders in, in the main series games and plus this is just what i think of her design what i think of sabrina it's again probably because nostalgic reasons leaf green was the first game i completed i played like a lot of other games before i picked up leaf green um you know played silver played blue all that stuff but i never like really completed them and leaf green was the one i completed uh first and i absolutely loved it and sabrina was awesome and this is just the version of sabrina that just really just sticks with me and i'm glad we got this version in poem masters and expanded upon it um but again probably nostalgic reasons gonna put her all the way up there so oh my god 30 minutes I just did a 30 minute video ranking every single Sabrina in the game. Or in the franchise, not just games. Manga, whatever, TCG. Um, okay, that's weird. <laughs> hey, do you honestly, do you know anyone in the world who's a bigger Sabrina fan than me? Come on. <laughs> I literally did a 30 minute video ranking all the Sabrinas. Going into detail, uh, why I, you know, like certain ones more than others. Obviously, I like them all. They're all Sabrina, but someone, you know, some of them I, I do slightly favor over the others. Anyways, that's weird for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really just did this. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, uh, like and subscribe. I don't know. Um, I'll be summoning for Fantina later tonight, uh, live. So tune in to that. Hey, after I get Fantina, I could build like the whole. The whole um the whole squad with uh Sigurdsson, Alyssa, Fantina, and Sabrina, and actually they probably work out really well. Uh, Sabrina and um, Alyssa, fantastic supports, plus Fantina, a pretty decent striker. It might work out. <laughs> Anyways, uh, again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys uh, later today.